Hey everyone, it's Dylan. We're back again for another week here in the shop. So this week, something very exciting. I know I say that every week, but we're wrapping up that cabinet. So we actually have already posted it on our other social media platforms. It was a huge hit. Everyone went crazy for it. I think it got 10 million views on Facebook. So you guys are going to get to see that today. And then you're also going to get to see us pour and demold that giant round sycamore burl. So that's Personally, it's my favorite round table we've ever done, so I'm quite excited for you guys to see that. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, and leave a like before watching the video. That really helps us out, and enjoy the video, you guys. Okay, so we're getting ready to pour this six foot round sycamore burl here. Um, we had it in the mold last week when we did the rest of these pours, but we didn't end up getting around to it. And something else kind of exciting about this, I've got this bottle of pigment here, unlabeled. Uh, this pigment was actually used to create this color. So this is one of our more popular colors that we offer. And we've actually been experimenting having our own pig pigments blended. So these pigments are a little bit different than the other pigments that you'll find on the market. Instead of them just being uh, a dye that is actually uh, like an ink or a dye that goes in and mixes with the resin, these are actually resin pigments. So it's a colored resin itself that you're adding in here. So that way they're gonna mix in a lot better and they'll also last longer and hold their color for longer. They should have less fading. And as you can see, they get really nice colors. So we will, we'll see what it looks like with this big burl. So we got some chunks that got in our resin. Um, so we're just using this kind of screen method to filter out as many as we can. I'm ready. <laughs> Three, two, one, four. Oh, this is gonna look so good. big six foot round sycamore burl so a few days have went by now we're going to demold it we recommend waiting at least five days to demold and then seven days best case scenario till you actually start machining and flattening the piece Alright, so you just saw Joe demold this and now the boys got the aluminum table all flipped over and they're getting ready to put the, the water cooling in this thing. So reason we're doing this is just so we can do thicker pours without the resin overheating. Um, we wanted to do water cooling for a while but we just never got around to it so now we are.
everyone. So Cam and Adam are here from U Technology, and they actually own a LED company, and they specialize in commercial LED installations. So we have got our liquor cabinet over there, that custom liquor cabinet you guys have seen us working on. Uh, this actually has the maple leaf in the tray, and now they're going to rig up LEDs on our bottle stand that we have. So our client, he wants to kind of have this nice stand that he can put all his favorite bottles on. So we're just putting little strips of LEDs in so they're all nice and lit. So we'll, we'll show you how that happens. that button to lower the brightness. Yeah. Okay. Hold this button to raise the brightness. Okay. okay. Off, on. This is like the master if you have more than one zone. Okay, yeah. Hey guys, so we are gonna be finishing the fronts of the cabinet now. So this is the one piece. This hasn't had a coat yet on it, but this guy, we'd already put one coat on. Looks fantastic. We got the rest over there and we're gonna finish them all up. You get to see that. for the client in Ontario. We got it all finished up. Uh, this is a very, very custom cabinet. I uh, picked a lot of details, uh, kind of specifically on this. So it's got locking doors as per his request. Then we open it up. Um, there's also LED strips under here. We don't have them turned on right now, but there's all LEDs going underneath. We got a mirror in the back so he can see himself. We've also got a slide out drink mixing tray that pulls right out for our client to mix his drinks on and then there's a little brass pin at the back for him to lock that tray in place. It's all soft close. Uh, one thing I can show you guys is on the drawers there's dovetailed sides. There's dovetails there. This is where he's gonna keep uh, more liquor down here. So that's why there's so much space in between these two drawers. This one he's just gonna have kind of all bottles lined up in here. And this one, I guess he'll put whatever he wants in there. And we got it branded as well down in the bottom corner. But this thing turned out really, really good. John kind of did most of the work on putting this thing together and it turned out awesome. Uh, let us know if you guys would wanna see a start to finish video of this cabinet and then uh, we asked about this last time with that blue table. We asked you guys to guess the price. So I'm gonna ask you again, guess how much we sold this thing for. And then for those of you who guessed on that last table, it was 18,000. So I know a few of you guys got really close, so good job. All right, so we just got a package in the mail actually. Uh, I opened it up and all I did was read the letter so far, but I'm gonna read it again to you guys. Uh, this sounds really cool. So it says, uh, Dylan and team, I've been watching your YouTube videos for several months now and I'm so impressed with the quality and dedication of your team and the amazing work you turned out. I had this idea for a while and finally got around to making it. It's cold pressed soap inside surrounded with melt and pour, meant to resemble your live edge pours. I've included some other goodies that you can share with your team and enjoy. Have a great day and keep up the excellent work. Judy, the crazy soap lady. Here we go. All right, so I'm assuming this is probably going to be it in here. Oh, look at this. 
Oh, this is cool. Whoa. Look at that. So, I guess this is basically like a bar of soap inside of a bigger bar of soap, basically. That is really cool. It actually does kind of look like one of our pores or something that we would make. That is super awesome. So yeah, you guys need to go check out the crazy soap lady. Uh, we will put her her ats or a handle or something on the screen here. Uh, looks like she's got Facebook. Um, I'll just kind of show you guys quickly through what else she sent us. This one is just soap, no center color. And it doesn't really smell like oh, anything. Oh, this is beer soap. That's beer soap? Oh, it's supposed to look like beer. <laughs> oh, I'm that is take awesome. The whole thing off, look. <laughs> oh, the boys are gonna like that. That's awesome soap. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. It smells good. Awesome. Thank you so much. We really appreciate that. Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, leave a comment and let us know what you think of the cabinet because we were very, very pleased with the way that turned out. Hasn't quite got to the client yet. I think it's showing up today, so we'll, we'll see what he thinks. And then something we touched on a little earlier in this video is our water-cooled table. So I'll kind of bend down here and show you what's going on. Uh, it is flipped over now, but we've got sort of our... Uh, our inlets and outlets here, I believe this is the outlet side and we can obviously close the valves and open the valves. And then underneath here we have a big 80 gallon tub that we're going to be filling up with water. Uh, and then there's also, to my left over here, there's a chiller and that's actually going to cool the water, it's going to pump everything through. Uh, and what this should hopefully do for us is it's going to allow us to do thicker pours with less bubbles. Like with our resin, you could pour two inches thick at room temperature, no problem. But when you're going three, four, five inches thick, like 200 liters at a time, it can get hot. So that's why we're doing all this. Let us know if you guys want us to do a video on it and we'll see you next week.